Welcome back, everybody, to another The Show, um, MLB The Show Franchise Mode with the Oakland A's. I'm Chris Schnabel. You're watching Leaf Bracer. If you haven't already, there's been three episodes of this, two were streams, one was a video. Um, you can go back and look at those now if you like. Um, so I got to start off the video. So if you haven't seen, we are 3-0 so far. Um, I start off the video by saying this. So after yesterday's stream or video, I should say, I was going through and kind of looking at the upcoming schedule. So let me go off of this so you can see the upcoming schedule here. So you'll see our record's much better. So I was looking at the Angel series, and by complete accident, I hit triangle, and we simmed all the way through the Texas series, all the way through the Yankee series, through the Mets, through the Marlins, through the Rays, through Baltimore, in the first game of the, um, the L.A. Angels series. One thing I will say, though, is um, we, uh, we did pretty damn good. Hold on one second. I noticed my thing is not looping. I think it was deleted. Well, oh well. So the thing at the bottom I usually have there is not looping. It must have been deleted. It's all good. Um, anyway, so first of all, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 16, 20 games, 21 games in a row that were simmed, and 21 games in a row that we won. So, you see, look at right there. We scored six runs in the ninth. Oh, my God. To win this one. Um, that's theirs. Let's see. Belt, three hits, five RBIs. Bichette hit two home runs. Belt hit two home runs. Who, oh no, Martinez. Who's Martinez? Oh, J.D. Martinez, duh. And Duffy all hit home runs. Six runs in the ninth. That means that was a walk-off. That's good. This one was a no-hitter by Lauer. What? Two doubles by Duffy, RBI by Duffy. That's the only run in the third, and no hitter. Two errors by D. Gordon and, and Duffy. Where's D. Gordon playing? Shortstop. Why was he playing shortstop? Um, where's the pitching? Pitching, pitching. There you go. Nine innings, one walk. Obviously, two errors. And nine strikeouts. For the guy that was struggling, too. He was, he was struggling hard. Awesome. Let's see. Let's see some of these other. I don't really care about the Baltimore series. Let's look at this one here. Chris Archer against his former team. Uh, Bichette with a home run in the sixth, and that's that's it. That was that's that won the game. Two hitter for uh, for a two hit. Wow, a complete game. Two hit shutout. Three walks. Ten Ks for Chris Archer. That's that's insanity. Um. 5-4 here. Look at that. Another on a almost almost lost this one. 5-4 win. Two runs in the ninth. Dylan Carlson. We made that trade before on stream. Yeah, we did. So we don't we could talk about that in a second. Hit a home run. Look at that. D, D Gordon hit a home run. And that catcher hit a home run. Um we'll look at this one next. 4-2, uh, took a 4-2 lead, it looks like, in the 7th. Uh, Straw with a home run, two RBIs. Julio Rodriguez had the day off there. Um, I mean, we don't really need to, like, the Chris Archer with the win, Mackenzie Gore with a win, that's big. Brandon Woodruff with the win. Did he go complete game shutout as well? That'd be crazy. He did. Two hits, two walks, eight Ks. Good on him. Lopez with a 3-1 win there. Oh, this one might have been pretty good. Oh, this was a, another walk-off because I saw the relievers with the win. Stanton and I don't know how to say that catcher's name from Minnesota. Bichette with a home run. I wish you could see the the box scores. I wonder if you can. Or not the box scores, the... Uh, you today's games. No, you can't. I wish you could see like the, the game rundowns. Here's another one. Pedro Strope with the win. 
Seven runs in the ninth. Holy cow. The no-quit team here. Josh Hader with the win here. But that wasn't a walk-off. He just got the win because they took the lead in the eighth. So good good all-around starts, good all-around playing for um, our boys. And because we're in such a dead heat with the Angels, I know it's only May. Even in this game, it's only May. It's actually around the same date. It might be the same date. No, today's the 21st, isn't it? Yeah, today's the 21st. So we're two days uh, removed. But I, th I think for the next two videos, we're going to play the Angels in both games. Um, this one won't be as exciting as the 24th, which would probably be tomorrow's video. Um, if not later tonight. I might do two videos today, by the way. Um, which is Brandon Woodruff, our newest addition. He's obviously been a stud so far. A couple shutouts, a couple complete games against Shohei Otani. Um, but really quick, before we get to the game, let's show what we've done so far. So you can see a lot of things have been done because we uh, accidentally, accidentally went too far ahead. So let's go and see if we can find... We made those trades. I guess I can't even go back to that far. Oh, here we could just go to trades. Duh. Um, so there you see Dylan Carlson, uh, Giovanni Gallegos, and Jordan uh, Hicks for Mitch Haniger, Patch, and Daniel Bard. I think that's a steal of a of a trade for us, honestly. Um, I really do. And it looks like it's working out so far. So. We got Tyler Anderson on the bump for the Angels. They're going to go through all these jersey changes for some reason. Um, we're going to go with the Green Oaklands at Henderson Field. Obviously, I want hybrid. No quick counts. Cool. And it looks like Julio Rodriguez may need a break. I might just do that. Brandon Belt really needs a break, but I don't want to bat out of the lineup. Who'd they have? They have a lefty on the mound. So, hmm. This is a tough one. I guess we'll, we'll give him a seat for today. And we'll give him a seat, too, because I'd rather... Oops, wrong one. I'd rather... Um, those guys be completely healthy for um, our matchup against Shohei Otani. I'm actually going to even do this. And then, I'm weirdly enough, I'm going to have D. Gordon, D.H., and we'll do that. So we have the – this lineup will be a little um, jank <laughs> for us. But it's good to have um, some guys on rest when we're going to face Shohei Otani tomorrow. Or – Tomorrow in this game, our next game. I should start saying stuff, preferences as our next game, not tomorrow or stuff like that. Fletcher, McCutcheon, Trout, Otani, Max Muncy. I don't know who that second baseman is or the right fielder. And then I didn't see the rest of it. So there's that. Mackenzie Gore for us. Having a little bit of a rough year. Hopefully we can get a get right game with him. We've been doing really well with the pitching. So, here we go. Mackenzie Gore versus Fletcher, and the first pitch is a ball. First game on the way. Um, so, the team's hot right now. The team's hot. Obviously, we helped them out a little bit with our wins. And you see it says down five, came back to win there. Can't believe Lauer threw a no-hitter. That's insane. Curveball completely got him. Martinez has 300th career home run in that game. Kind of looking at the bottom line here and, and seeing Brandon Belt just having an absolute game. I like Andrew McCutcheon a lot. I'm, I'm so glad that McCutcheon has been able to stay around after he kind of slowed down. Another one in the dirt, swing and a miss. 
in for out number two. That's a so, so far, Mackenzie Gore looking really good. I'm, I'm enjoying him so thus far. Now we got to face Mike Trout, though, and obviously he's pretty pretty damn good, especially when you leave right down the middle. I guess we got lucky there. A special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. And, a foul and then that times he's already, I think that was in the same exact spot, just a little higher. So, got him 0-2. We're going to go same pitch we did with the other two. Let's see if they go for it. And he does. So that curveball is really working so far today. That's big. That's really big. I th no, it wasn't a... I was going to say I thought that might have been a um, immaculate inning, but it was not. Oh. Good timing, but just didn't have it. Look at Severino. 10 Ks, no runs. Good on him. This one smacked out to left center. That's going to be a dub. There's a nice little double. Let's go away to start it here. We should look at some of the stats after this game and some of the records of teams and see where everybody's kind of at. Interested to see. Ooh, fastball fouled it off. I was late on that one. Bichette, the runner at second with one away. Oh, that's that's low. That's low. Trying too hard there. So we're 32 and 17. The Angels are 30 and 19. You've seen that already. On the side today, I put it in the right spot. My camera is not blocking the score bug, which it was yesterday for about the first like six innings. It took me a while to realize what was going on there. Oh, that's a shot. Get up. Oh. Just didn't get enough of it, I guess. Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson with crazy good contact and stuff against lefties. Except for there, apparently. I think I was late. Oh, good timing. You see 93 contact, 61 power. Roll to Culberson. Across oh, the nothing across there, but first inning, it's okay. We got on base. Now we have Otani. I don't know who's after Otani in this lineup. Oh, look at that. A low zone. Definitely don't see that. Considered by many to be a strikeout pitcher, he might not be at the top level in that category, but strikeouts a big part of his game. Here's a one-one. So, except with the exception of our game against the Blue Jays, I mean he's going to throw strikes. He's not going to issue many free passes. We have not been trailing in a game yet. Next offering is down low. It's always that one guy. It's got to foul everything off. Oh, I picked the wrong pitch. Let's see if he could still get him with this. Got him swinging. If you're looking at the bottom line right now, the AL West standings are very close. All of them are very close. There you can see it again. Look, you got the Angels 30 and 19, Astros 29 and 20, Mariners 28 and 20. And then the Rangers were the only team that were kind of out of it. <clears throat> no, none of them are out of it, though. So we're going to have to keep winning games. Another one in the dirt. Got him swinging. That curveball is working in this game. Absolutely working in this game. We have Miles Straw up first. We have Miles Straw, and I think we have one more actual starter. 
I can't see it. I think we have one more actual starter after that, and then and then we get to like the D Gordon's backup catcher. That one lifted to left. Is that gonna go? Foul! Oh my goodness! That had to have been fouled by a half of a centimeter. There we go. Wow, look how close that was. Look how close that was to being fair. Unbelievable. Out to short. He dies. And he's going to get there. That's good. So should have had a double. He'll get a single. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nope, nope. Brett Harris is up, so we're in that. We're in that part of the lineup now. Or no one's going to be all too great. His contact against lefties is a 70, so he's improving with every with every time with every day we record. If I remember right, it started around the mid 60s. All right. What? They don't have D Gordon's name in this? And he grounds into a double play. That's about right. That's about right. So this is going to be a... <laughs> this might be a low-scoring game with the lineup as weak as it is. We're getting the low strikes, though, so it's it's off to a good start there. Okay, but we're not getting that one. I guess I just speak too soon sometimes. I wonder if I can get him twice on the curve. They're at literally the same location. Oh, this one's going to be... Who knows where this one's going to be. Okay, I'll take that. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have a Give time. The fastball. He is mowing these hitters down. Mowing these hitters down. So far, I haven't found a place where I'm going to skip because I don't want people missing all these strikeouts. These strikeouts are crazy. Two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger. All in one now. Just missed. Well, I don't know what everybody's opinion is of um, extended, so right there, just trying to straighten him up a little of the new announcers in the show. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. I think I talked about this last time too. Liner snagged at first. Freeman at first though. <laughs> Mike Freeman. Charlie Kluberson. Coolberson. Oh, he almost had it. So that's the first hit of the game for the Angels. Almost caught. It's a tough one. But now we get back to the top of the lineup. Next pitch inside, and the count is one and one. Let's see. He also has a changeup we haven't thrown yet. Let's see how this one goes up. I messed it up. I'll take that. Well, we'll see how Harris' fielding is now. Nice. Smokes him at first. So we gave up our first hit. Mackenzie Gore still looking really good. There we go. Mike Freeman time. Oh, he smokes it to the gap. Let's go. Now it's CJ Rodriguez. Don't know who this is. I might, I may be wrong, but I don't think we've played with Rodriguez yet. We know he's on the team, but I don't think we've actually played with him yet. 
runner in scoring position now and a good and hits ground ball right to the shortstop well that brings up the top of the lineup though so it's not the worst thing in the world it would have been nice if he could move him over to third so Iglesias had him at first sorry I keep itching my nose I think I have some dry skin last game we played Iglesias absolutely hammered the ball Trying to get him with a high fastball. I don't know why. Threw a curveball last time. It's got me going. Uh, I probably should have gone there. That might have been a mistake. That may have been a mistake. I probably should have gone right there. But with Bichette up. Sinks. Look at K. Brian Haynes bang 431. Oh my goodness. Now I really am mad I didn't go. Good timing on the curveball, too. Just a lazy ground ball to third. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite, but that's that stinks. That stinks. I was I was about to say, you know, Bichette coming up. You know, with with two runners on, I'm not too worried. But we've definitely ground into a lot of double plays. And I've expected some in this one because we have such a bad bottom of the lineup. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Mackenzie Gore looking looking very good out there. Here's Mike Trout. Scoreless here, but now obviously, he, once he sees it for the power. third time, it's going to be a little more difficult. But when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug, uh, these type of home run totals, I did a one franchise with the Yankees. Um, I simmed a lot of the games because I really just wanted to see how, excuse me, how a couple of players would be, a couple of these like prospects. So I simmed and I got to. I got to Mike Trout's 44-year-old season. Yes, he played till he was 44. I don't, actually, I think he's still there. I don't think I finished it. He was at, like, 930 home runs and, like, 4,500 hits. He's just still going. But the, the worst part is he's still going. He's hitting, like, 45 home runs and batting 330 at, like, 44 years old. It's, like, a 62 overall, but he's just so OP in this game. He's so good. I say in this game like he's not good in real life. Got him again. So Mackenzie Gore, I think he has eight strikeouts now in, in four innings. Really killing it. We're, we're hitting the ball. We're hitting the ball. Just... Not scoring runs off of it, which is not good. But that one we did. Dylan Carlson in our first game playing with him. Perfect timing on that fastball, I think it was, and just crushed it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we needed. We needed to boost the, boost the morale a little bit. Couple of big double plays kind of kind of got us. Crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. 400 feet. Yep, fastball inside. On the plate, but inside. I think it had to have been early on that one, right? And I'd hope so. Okay. He's for one. I don't think I have a hit with Brett Harris yet. Maybe we have one hit with him. First pitch doesn't find the zone. It's, camp. it's so weird how much it doesn't look like him. Ah, I shouldn't have swung. Thought of swinging too late. I should have just let it, let it rock. But. I wonder if the cold and hot zones change. Like, I feel like when I look at guys in their career, their cold and hot zone stays the same at all times. In the air, left side. 
Yeah, it's good contact, man. With Dylan Carlson, the newest Oakland athletic. It's one deep into the seats. One nothing. The way Gore is pitching so far. That may be all we need. Do the umpires just like guess on some of these corners? Did they just guess? Like, that's such a strike. If they're going to make it in this game, which they do, where, like, some umpires will have wider zones and some will have smaller zones, they should have some sort, and now we get to test Rodriguez. We got him. They should have some sort of way where you can see, like, even if it's just when you enter the game, where you can see what their their tendencies are. Like, they don't even. There's no way to know except for actually pitching. But if I knew going into the game, like, yeah, he doesn't call the low, but he calls really high, it would just change my entire pitching tendency. I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining to complain. Ground ball to the right side. Freeman with the play. Freeman takes it to the bag, and the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So Mackenzie Gore is just Rough. Now at the plate, is he lighting the people up right now. Just, just setting them, bringing them up and setting them down. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, I haven't had to use the slider yet, so that's going to be good for the third time around. The curveball is just ridiculous right now. They cannot hit the curveball. D. Strange Gordon up. Oh, I was trying to go the other way, and I saw it was outside. I didn't know it was that outside. It's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. So I tried to do it the first pitch, too. The first pitch just wasn't even close to the zone. You rip a line That's it. Way, you feel really good Seth Lugo time. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel. Maybe big for us. To it. That's great work right there. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Seth Lugo. Oh, he got around, but not enough. Did Seth Lugo actually? He's still in the Mets right now, right? I don't know. I don't know. Just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Mike Freeman, a lefty, is worse against righties, way worse against righties than he is against lefties, which is kind of shocking. Matt Whistler. Getting ready to go. Bradley getting cranked up as well. Over to first and he saved. I already went on my rant about stealing. I probably won't do it right now. Number 10, the runner at first. If you missed it yesterday, um, I think stealing's broken in this game against the computer. Because they'll pitch normally when you don't put, click to steal. And then nothing, absolutely nothing will have changed. Let's see if they get to the gap. Nope. Not getting to the guy. Nothing will have changed, but they'll now be doing a pitch out or a quick step or something like that. But nothing changed other than you hit the steal this time. So it's a little, it's a little frustrating. Oh, I thought it was a breaking ball. Kept riding. I guess that's why they keep throwing the high fastball to me with the Glacius. And there's something you don't see very much. In today's game, the They're very worried about D. Gordon at first. Kicks and deals. Popped up. Ugh, early on it. And makes the grab. I don't know why his name is D. Strange Gordon either. I don't know if that's like his actual name. He just went by D. Gordon, like how Giancarlo Stanton went by Mike Stanton for a long time. Check swing, but he went too far. But it's it's funny to see him playing nowadays with D Strange Gordon because he has Strange Gordon on the back of his jersey, but he also weighs like 82 pounds, so he's tiny and it just goes from like left cheek to right cheek. That's off the curveball. That's not good. 
They're starting to get around on that curveball. We don't like that. I said we should see how every team's doing. If we just look at the bottom, we can see the Guardians are in first. They're not that good. White Sox, Twins. It's very close. None of those teams are really any good, though. There's our division. Two teams under 20, under 20 losses. Oh, step on the base! Race to the bag, but he's safe. That's so unrealistic. Guy would have dove to the bag. And next for the Angels, David Fletcher. Slice to right. It gets down base hit. Looks like we might have to start warming someone up. Mackenzie Gore is starting to get hit just a little bit. We're going to start throwing some new pitches that we haven't really thrown. There's one that should have been a three-run homer. There's a two seam, and here's the slider. We're gonna we're gonna try to set him down with the, with the reliable pitch so far. We've actually set down McCutcheon twice with this curveball already. Not this time though. He did not have any interest in that one. Next one misses, and it's two and two. Pitch. There we go. So now it's a little scary because we verse. We're going up against Mike Trout now. I don't think Gore is going to get through eight or even seven for that matter. Good pitch. That was beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, come on! <laughs> no freaking way. Look at where that pitch is. <sighs> That's bad. That's so bad. On an one two to Mike Trout, paints a two seam. Paints a two seamer. Oh no, okay. Well, let's get back into it. Oh, that was rough. Wow, lefty righty split is ridiculous for Bichette. Almost 500 against lefties. Okay, we're back. We're back. That was. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. Is it gone? That's gone. That's gone. Bo Bichette. I think he's homered in every game we've played. Bo Bichette. And to think that was a trade that was offered to me. <laughs> Crazy. And a song is kind of like exactly what I would expect Bobochette to be coming back to. Got a nice little 2 0 fastball right down the middle. JD Martinez stands in. Doing a lot better with our patience. Remember the first two games, the patience was not great. And now we're doing a lot better there. That might be two. That might be two. There it is. Hanging curveball. Back-to-back -back jacks for our boys. Let's go, Oakland. That's big. Nice 3 0 lead now. Look at the umpire. Need some glasses there, blue. Left it up in the zone. I can show because that was a good little pitch there. You can see where it was left. Get rid of this as well. 
Zero's left right there. Well, now I need to get my thing back. Okay. Now with that home run, I don't know if you just saw. I don't know if you saw the bottom there. With that home run, Bo Bichette now is tied for the lead in home runs. I guess I could have warmed. Actually, I can warm up Devin Williams. Damn, probably should have hit that one. Pulled. Let's try that again. Let's... Yeah, warm up Greg Williams for the seventh, just in case. He gives up a couple hits. I think we might call it a day with Mackenzie Gore. He really showed out today, so. Still no hits with... Uh... With Brett. And that'll do. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the D H. Here we go. So we got Otani. I honestly don't even remember who was after Otani. That's strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, I don't remember. They still have Wel do they still have Welsh? Is Welsh play? Have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there. If he can get through this inning, this will be probably oh my gosh. If he gets to this inning, this will probably be it for Mackenzie Gore. He really came out to play today. Another curveball in the dirt. Another strike three. He has like 12 or 13 strikeouts in the game. 12th strikeout. Oh, Max Muncy, that's right. So Walsh is definitely not playing first for them anymore. There's one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider. There's two. Not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. I don't know if you're looking at the bottom as well. As he sits down as well. 13 Ks. 13. Let's look up. Oh, does that. Oakland A's. Strike. In a game record. If we're coming close, maybe we will... Um, Keep him in a little longer. That should be caught because we're in Oakland. <laughs> Nowhere else would that be caught. Okay, so most runs, most hits, most singles, most triples, most home runs. I want to see pitching. Most runs. The 18. Oh, that's 1916. Okay. Indiv individual records. Most strikeouts in an inning is four, but what about most strikeouts in a game? Most strikeouts, nine innings, 16. Only 16. What's he at, 12 now, 13? I think he's had like 12 or 13 of them. Here's Mike Freeman to the plate. We'll have to look. I think we, we might just try to go for it. That's out to center field. <laughs> Got it. Makes the, play. the diving and catching animation in this game is so bad. It's so incredibly bad. CJ Rodriguez getting ready to hit. Alright. I don't mind Mike Freeman coming off the bench playing. He's been pretty good. Look how close that is to perfect in its pop-up. Unreal. All right, so we're going to keep McGinsey Gore going because I, th I, I think we might be able to check it on here. No, that's not it. Um, I guess if I just went to stats, right, go to the box score. He has 13. So if he has four more strikeouts in these two innings, he... Breaks the, the record, the Oakland A's single game record. 
So we're on, oh my god, but how are we supposed to do it with this garbage? This garbage. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me get off of this so I can show everybody this absolutely pathetic garbage. Look at this. Look how much of the zone that ball catches. That's bad. That's really bad. That's quite bad. All right. And then he calls out a strike. Like, what is, what is this guy on? You expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Should be 0-2. Should be throwing that curveball in the dirt for strike three. All right. Let's get him here. Let's get him here. Curveball's been working. We're going to trust it. For number 14. Oh, he acted like he was going to go, too. No, we're not. No, we're not. Got him. Oh, this is exciting now. Now we're getting going. 14. Three more strikeouts, and he breaks the record. He's already singled in this game. He's starting to lose command pretty heavily. There you go. He's tired. He might need two two weeks off after this, but we need to we need to go for it. We need to go for it. You know, young pitcher. He's this close. He's only at 88 pitches, but I guess in today's baseball, 88 pitches means you're exhausted. By the way, last night Gonzaga baseball. Beating, beating uh, San Diego. Gabe Hughes going 136 pitches, eight and two thirds. Dude's a stud. You're gonna hear his name definitely. Ooh, that's the first. That's the first real mistake curveball he's made this entire game. Let's see if he could do it this time, but low. Oh no. I think I have to keep him in though. I have to keep him in for at least a little bit longer. At least until the tying run comes up. If the tying run comes up, we'll we'll um we'll reevaluate. But he gets one. Should have had two, but I guess it's okay because he still needs three strikeouts to to break the record. I don't think he's gonna do it. They're starting to get around on his pitches a little bit. And that's, that'll do it for him. So we came close, but... We came close, but it's not going to happen. We have to we have to win the game first. So, Josh Hader will come in. We have not pitched with Josh Hader yet, so this is still kind of exciting, but... Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Hater, he's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Oh, he's going to be safe. I don't know what was going on there. He, like, animated, started walking around it. So this is scary. Now I either face Mike Trout. Now I'm going to do this. We're going to Otani. Now... I don't like intentionally walking people. I really don't. But this is a lefty lefty and a, like he just said a force at every base. Should have been out of the inning, but nothing you can do about it. I don't know why Bichette took the route he took to that ball, but he did. It's over. Coming right at you expecting to get a swing and miss. That caught a lot more of the zone than I was hoping. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Good pitch. The next pitch misses and accounts for it's three and two with two outs. This is scary stuff. This is scary stuff. We're gonna go circle change. Two outs. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go back to the slider. Back to the slider. Let's go! Oh man! 
That was worrisome, but. Got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. That was scary. That was scary. All right, so we'll be warming up Edwin Diaz. I believe he's the saves leader. We'll go look at some stats after this game really quick, but I believe he's the saves leader. I struggle with Aaron Loop's curveball, by the way. So if you ever play me and you're the Angels, may as well start Aaron Loop. I struggle with that curveball very mightily. And it's going to say and the cutter. I struggle with both of them very mightily. That would have been a, a batter's interference, by the way, in real life. Obviously, he caught it, so it doesn't matter, but actually would have been a batter's interference in real life. So Bichette made a weird error, but I can't even be mad at him. He's three for four with a home run. So can't even be too mad at his performance, but he did too. He also elevated it. He hit it over the wall. See, that's that cutter and that curve, man. I, I struggle with it. I played him a couple times recently online, and I, I just it's tough. Oof. I think I struggle with this so much because that cutter, the curveball goes like 80. The cutter goes like 83 to 85. Let's see, 83 to 87. And then the sinker goes like 96. So it's tough, but maybe it's just a cut. No, it's a slurve. Yeah, he has a slurve. It goes under 80. It doesn't even go 80, a slurve. Fouled off. He was late. Yeah, I was late, but that's fine. That's... Over at first with one away. I'll take that any day of the week. A foul ball over a swing and miss or worse. Don't swing at all. Swing and miss or don't swing at all. Stays alive. Staying alive. Don't need to fight any counts here or any pitch counts here, I should say. It's uh. Not a big deal. This one in the dirt. That's the first ball I've looked at, and he's thrown one, two, three, four of them. <laughs> and a ball and two strikes. And a foul ball he's Out of the four there. balls he's thrown, I've looked at one of them, and it was the, the one furthest. Look at all those pitches that I've I've swung at. And here it comes. That one foul. So we're doing pretty good, making him throwing a lot, throw a lot of pitches here. So what's probably going to happen, because the worst thing we can do is hit a ground ball, so that's probably what's going to happen. There we go. That's the slurve. I was able to lay off of it there, which is good. I usually don't. I usually swing for the fences at it. And JD gets a piece now two and two. In an era with a lot of swing and miss and this might be one to cut down because it's not too exciting. But um, so far there haven't been many editable editing editable is that a good word to say? Moments in this game, so I don't know if it will be edited. Next pitch is outside. Look at that. Alright, so we're we're hacking. So we're going to take off at first. And now the lefty, Bichette goes. There we go. Will he get the third? We're going to try for it. We're going to try for it. Why did we try for it? He's smoked by six years. <laughs> Why did he try for that? That was not smart. That was not smart at all. We should have just stayed where we were. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> he was out by 10 miles. See that sinker, like everything else is like 84 and lower, and then that sinker is just like 95. It makes no sense. Oh, there's a circle change. If I have a long at bat here, I'll probably cut it down. Nope. Got whacked. We have the bases loaded right now for Miles Straw. Watch, he's going to hit a home run or something. 
gonna have to face another test. Hopefully he can forget about the one nope. that ground ball to short. You forgot about the one that so they get the force. We're gonna go to Diaz here. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. Here's Max trying to Muncy. close this baby out. So they to Did he just say there's the Max Mun Muncy, that funky Muncy? What the hell? He's a reliever that excels in really tough situations. Those high leverage spots. It seems like he's at his best in these situations. And obviously the ability to get the strike out back. Wow. They called that strike three. That's a makeup call and a half. I took off my thing so you can see. Look at that. That is a makeup call and a half. Tell you what, that helps him settle in. And that helps everybody else relax okay. a little bit to get these other two outs. I can't believe they called that strike three. That one All right, the there's two outs. Lazy fly ball. Remember when we walked to Mike Trout to get to Shohei Otani and it worked? Does everybody remember that? That's crazy. Strike one. Yeah, there are certain guys that expect to come in Strike and two. see the challenge, the battle, just a little bit differently. They trust their stuff, and they believe that their stuff... Strike three. Nice little 3-1 win there. These guys just keep rolling. This winning streak is out of control. I can't believe... The 22 games now in a row? Unbelievable. ...on the other side of the diamond, and they're just getting it done. Day in, day out, night in, night out. So you go 3-1, a couple of home runs, Diaz with the save, Mackenzie Gore had an absolute game. Um, we'll do that, but we'll do it on our on our own here. So um, Carlson with a home run, Martinez with a home run, and Bichette all with solo home runs. So all of our runs came on home runs. That's, that's unlike the other games. Um, we had a couple home runs in the other games, but nothing like this. They didn't show Bichette's. Interestingly enough, I don't think they ever do. They never show Bichette's except for one game, I think. Oh, here's the Mike Trout dive. Look at this. <laughs> looks so bad. This was the biggest moment of the game right here. Bases loaded for Shohei Otani. That was actually ball four, too. It was scary to walk Mike Trout to get to him, but I think it was the best move. Obviously, it was. We won. And that does it. So a good game. Iglesias, after that big performance against the Yankees, kind of slowed down a little bit, but Bichette made up for it. And actually Martinez, two for four as well. Carlson with the big home run. Straw had a base hit, but nothing really else. Gordon had a base hit, nothing really else. Freeman had a base hit, nothing really else. Harris and Rodriguez, the only ones not to get a hit. Um, there you see Freeman and Bichette had a double. Carlson, we already know all that. Actually, Bichette took the lead for the home runs. Which We'll, we'll go look at that for a second. Mackenzie Gore with 14 Ks, that's... That's what I'm talking about. I think, actually, oh no, this isn't what I want. This isn't what I want. Let's get out of here. I think Mackenzie Gore should be the, um, let's see. I guess we could just use this one. Let's see how we can do this here. I think that right there with the strikeouts in the background, right? We could put the Oakland sign up there. So this is going to be our... Let me get rid of all my stuff here. Hold it for a second. That's going to be our, um, our thumbnail. I like that a lot. Oh, I can't find my thing now. Too many texts. There we go. Got to clean this up a little bit. That's going to be our thumbnail right there. That's a nice one. Um, he had a heck of a game. He deserves it. David Fletcher had the only RBI on the other side of the ball, which is okay. It happens. Um, but, man, Mackenzie Gore, 14 Ks, one earned run, five hits, almost eight innings pitched. Doesn't get too much better than that. So let's go look at the – I simmed to the next day, so all the stats are updated. Um, Josh Bell, Alex Bregman. Wow, Riley Green. Is he a... Nope, he's in his second year. There you go. There you go. There's two of ours right there. Bichette. Straw. 
Iglesias, Belt, Julio back up there. Remember, he was struggling mightily. Now he's up towards 300. 65 hits for both Bichette and Straw lead the league. Uh, Miles Straw was one behind in doubles. The Blue Jays, a I didn't think we'd have anybody there. The there you go, Pachette, and look who's next, Vlad Jr. So, the two uh, former former Blue Jays, well, Vlad's still a Blue Jay, but, and he leads them by one in the RBIs as well. The pitching side, let's see if we have anything. Uh, six wins for Archer, it's tied for second. Chad Green has seven, that's not good for the... Uh, Blue Jays, that means they're going deep into games with, without the lead. Um, there you go, Chris Archer with one loss, 6-1 and one on the year. That's amazing. I think, uh, did it say that Chad Green 7-0? and oh. Yeah, 7-0 and oh with a save. Good ERA, though. There you go. Like I said, Edwin Diaz, top in, the, in, in all of baseball in saves. Lopez with the lowest ERA, but not the Oh, wow. Kyle Gibson is a 1-1-7. Holy cow. Um, this one, don't care about. Shutouts, we might be up there. Yeah, Pablo Lopez is up there. But it's just two, so it's not a big deal. Woodruff, 67 strikeouts. Mackenzie Gore, 64. Lopez, 61. Archer, 59. That's good. Ar four of our top five guys. One, two, three. Four, yeah, four of our top five guys in the top and strikeouts. Um, these ones I don't really care too much about. 33 to 9, that's okay. Whip. Looks like we don't have anyone under a 1, which is okay. Giolito with the highest pitching war with a 2. Nice heading. I can, that's makes sense because he uh, plays shortstop and... Um, it's a lot of home runs. So there are the stats for you. We're not really going to go over the, the standings because we kind of saw the standings. The last thing we can look at is the prospect list. Like we have two of the top five. We have three. We have four of the top six prospects in our system right now. That was obviously something we really were going for. We wanted to build a really strong minor leagues, have all these guys on one-year deals, and then let them all walk and let the minor leaguers take over. Um, after that, though, our next one's not until this catcher which is good we traded that one catcher we still have another catcher in the system that's good prado that's the guy everybody wanted to trade for so we have a lot of prospects i think that's one let's see one there's 50 prospects we have one two three four um five six seven eight eight of the top 50 that's that's crazy that's a big percentage to have. So um, you can see our position ranking, second base. Who's our second baseman? It's Iglesias. Iglesias is pretty good, isn't he? Oh, he's only 78. That's interesting. He's actually, he's actually decreasing as well if you look at it. Um, he was a 91 contact against lefties. He's now a 90. So he's actually decreasing. Um, third base, our third baseman is... Because we didn't just play our actual uh, Matt Duffy, so makes sense. Catching makes sense as well. It all makes sense, but we're having a good year so far. Next video, it'll be uh, I'll put the matchup on the screen here. The next the next one will be Shohei Otani versus Brandon Woodruff. We're gonna have all our starters in, I believe. I don't think anybody needs a break, so that'll be big. Um, it it should be good. I'm very excited. We'll play that one next. That video might come out later today. It might come out tomorrow. It might come out next week. I don't really have a set schedule for these. It's just when I can record them. So um, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I hope you're having fun watching. Make sure you follow Leaf Bracer. Uh, that's the channel you're watching this on. You can also follow them on Instagram, Leaf Bracer. Make sure you listen to Cup of Joe's podcast. That is a Leaf Bracer exclusive. Um, you can follow me, Chris Schnabel. My name is in the website right there. That website also leads you to all of my work I've done professionally. Um, if you'd want to check that out. But if you take the first name and the last name and you put that in the Instagram, you'll get my page. If you take the first name and the last name and you put an M in the middle right there where I'm pointing, put an M right there, you'll get my Twitter handle. So you can go follow me on those if you want to know more of what's going on with me. Right now I'm in the middle of promoting a short student film I made that's trying to get into some, some uh, trying to get into some uh, 
festivals. So that's what's going on with me. Um, you can follow me on any of those. You can look at my website there. Make sure you check out the videos previous to this if you haven't already. You can also check out, I did a Mario baseball season. Um, you can check that out. You can check out, we've done Mario Golf, Joe Brown and I. I've done Mario Golf, you can check that out. Um, there's a lot of stuff to check out, so check out the channel. Make sure you check out my channel as well. Um, and that's it for me today, so thank you for joining. I'm glad you joined. Hopefully we'll have another one out soon. And the next one's gonna be, the next one's gonna be good. We usually, we haven't played back-to-back -back games yet, but this one deserves a back-to-back -back game. Our best versus their best. Um, we're fighting to stay alive at the top. It's only May, but we wanna stay at the top. So see you later, have a good one. Make sure you stay safe. We'll see you next time, bye-bye.